this is Dating Things Hunter after short break. Uh, so in this summer where we didn't have so much volatility, but uh, now I'm gonna start to do the Forex market previews again. So for the following week, um, Monday 20th August till the 25th, so we're gonna have a look uh, for that uh, just right now. So next week, uh, Monday, there's no gonna be any news, but Tuesday, uh, Australian bank, then uh, the New Zealand uh, retail sales, and uh, then uh, some usual usual news as usually like uh, FOMC, crude oil, as well the Fed chair power to be speaking, and uh, Saturday will be the Cat uh, got false speaking. So not uh, not nothing uh, and extra. These speeches they are like overrated it doesn't move the market too much and that following week there is nothing as well extra happening so i believe this uh, last two weeks uh, during uh, uh, ending uh, for this august is not gonna be something extra happening so let's see but uh, let's go to the charts and uh, check the cftc report because we have some uh, interesting data so let's start with the dollar uh, as usually and uh, there is some things uh, which I want to point and uh, some things which happened and are very interesting right now. So uh, in, the, in the dollar index, uh, we are right now in this uh, monthly uh, consolidation. Let me, let me adjust the chart. So we have this uh, monthly consolidation. Uh, so we can see that uh, uh, the, ch the price actually dropped from the supply zone and now is just moving uh, between these zones. However, we have uh, three months uh, uptrend uh, which is still uh, intact and I believe if the market will come uh, back to this uh, monthly supply zone around the hundreds and we can see that uh, on the weekly we are as well in this uh, uptrend and we have just removed this uh, supply zone which created uh, this new nice uh, demand for the potential longs but actually uh, I was actually expecting uh, the reversal on the dollar uh, for a couple of weeks uh, when we've been in this range and here happened this uh, this uh, similar thing which is happening uh, mostly on the other charts and I will show you later uh, it, and it's that the market makers are just uh, just supporting the price below the level and then they drop the price to the level because uh, a lot of people start to shorten here because they see the pins on the candle so they think it might could be end of the trend and then comes the surprise and then maybe the price start to dropping however we will have to see what in the play will take these uh, new demands so on the daily uh, we are as well in this uh, uptrend uh, we have a nice uptrend uh, with the breaking through this uh, through this consolidation and creating a new demand zone for the long so however we have the, we had this data this week where happened something interesting uh, so the market makers finally uh, they okay we can see that they added longs but as well they added the shorts and they added pretty much shorts and we can see that uh, that uh, for first time in the many weeks uh, like uh, for, from the five months we can see the drop in the percentage so we've been always growing 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 up and now we can see the first day first week in this long row so we can see uh, the drop in the in the long so what i'm expecting uh, that uh, they probably start to adding the longs of course and as well the shorts so they probably start to hedging and preparing for some short-term reversal or maybe they just want to take the price lower into this zone and then continue higher so what i will be doing uh, in my trading plan i will definitely wait uh, of course this doesn't mean that uh, if i see that uh, the market makers are 2k 2k shorts and they you know didn't add too much long so i will definitely not gonna uh, not gonna start to short the dollar because uh, we can see uh, still the net positions are growing only the exposure is changing a little bit so what what it could be it could be just uh, 
this uh, nice uh, nice uh, correction and then continue higher uh, market could continue higher this zone is uh, uh, as well perfect because we can see two to one uh, departure with very strong candles so i will be very interested to taking the longs uh here uh, and that means the shorts on the euro and the pound and etc so we will see that uh, on the other chart so let's uh, continue uh now we i'll just put the volume because uh, on the dollar index we don't have a volume so uh, i must change it and now let's continue with the gold on the gold uh, like everyone knows that uh, we are in the monthly it's very similar like with the dollar index so we, we can see that uh, we have this uh, monthly trend line broken and when the trend line is broken and uh, not new, so new demand supply zones it, it, because it was the downtrend wasn't removed so we are in the consolidation and we are moving lower from this uh, and we have this new supply zone created uh, when this uh, demand zone was removed so what could happen actually the market could come back and then drop lower however i don't think this is gonna happen because uh, when we saw when we see what's happening on the dollar the trend is so strong so this zone uh, i don't think it's gonna happen because if we look to the weekly we have as well strong downtrend and we have one two three four zones which are very strong and on the daily chart uh, we have uh, as well as well these uh, one two three four zones so uh, we can see some short-term reversal now. We can see this nice, uh, nice pin bar uh, with the higher volume. So this can, yes, it's a strong one. But uh, you know, if the gold wants to make it up, it first have to remove one zone, create new one, and continue higher again. Remove another one, create new one. Of course, it could happen, but it's not gonna be definitely easy. So I'm not definitely looking right now for any longs uh, on this pair. And uh, uh, when I'm checking the COT data, I can see that uh, the market makers finally, they finally added some longs after a long time as well. It's happening actually on all the, all the majors uh, as we saw it on the dollar. Right now we can see that they added from 2008 to, uh, to 211k longs and they obviously added as well the short. So here is probably some hedging and the stopping volume is coming inside. However, as we can see, the net positions drop at lower, you know? So they added even more shorts than the longs. They added just 3K longs and they added like 20K shorts, which is massive, you know? So, but the thing is that uh, this, this data is represented in the Tuesday candle, which is this one. So this data, what we are looking here is actually for this period. We don't know what's happened here. We don't know what happened in this weekend. This is what we're gonna see the next Friday. However, for the for the longs, I need to see this uh, taken out first, and then uh, creating new zone. And as well, I need at least one uh, weekly zone taken out because uh, I'm not gonna taking longs or against this. And. Uh, and uh, as well as I said, I'm expecting this to drop. So I will be looking only for the shorts and the perfect zone for me would be if the market comes, uh, if the market comes into this zone. Yeah, so uh, what I want to see is uh, maybe visiting this one and this one because it's uh, two strong zones which removed uh, these uh, demand zones, yes, monthly demand zones. It was, it was happened on these, 1221 level which there is these two zones nested in the in, in this in together so this is what i will be looking for on the gold uh, obviously there is some possibility for the intraday longs however uh, it's uh, not interested for me okay this is the aussie aussie we have a very tricky chart uh, and uh, we can see something interesting happening as well so we have on the monthly with this broken downtrend and uh, uptrend, sorry, and the price is dropping lower into this uh, monthly demand. And however, market still didn't come there yet, and it's now bouncing from this uh, weekly demand zone and from this daily demand zone. 
which is nice and uh, if we if we check the data we can see that uh, the market makers finally after some quite some time they added 3k logs 4k logs something around the 4k logs and they added just just 2k shorts which changed the percentage of the exposure from the from the 22% to 25% longs and the short from 78 till 75 so we can see that uh, there is definitely interest uh, interest they are definitely interested into the buying uh, right now the OZ. however for me for still now to going for the long it's maybe uh, too early because it's just could be just the push higher you know the correction it's uh, not uh, so obvious if we look uh, if we can look to the chart like uh, like intraday of course so uh, let me check uh, if we check this one yeah if you look at it uh, in, on the intraday chart we can see that uh, the market makers actually they bounced from this uh, daily level and we can see that uh, quite uh, quite a couple time when market was dropping so every drop is like supported uh, with the volume uh, dropping you can see this is like a buying activity when the market moves up volume is now going up here yeah? market moving up there is a volume market is moving up as well and there is as well the volume so definitely it could go higher and uh, it could come all the way up into this daily zone so there is definitely potential that this one could visit uh, that this one uh, could visit uh, this zone so i will be waiting uh, if that happened or not I want this one. Okay, so trading view is now freezed. Perfect. Okay, so we are back. Yeah, so as I said, uh, I will be waiting. Uh, I'm not now interested in going long because uh, this is still a strong downtrend and I will be more interested in uh, getting to the short uh, here or here so first I wait uh, till the market comes uh, back into my levels where I will be interested in taking the longs because I took many times uh, just the long for the bounce and uh, it's, uh, it's a lower probability that uh, this will work uh, than not so uh, I'm not interested in interested into trading these okay so the next one is the euro euro ah, here it is so euro is uh, as well monthly in consolidation with this uh, supply zone in the control which is pushing the price lower the rules if we are in the consolidation the market uh, can price can move from the supply zone to the demand zone easily without no any obstacles which is actually right now happening on the weekly we have uh, the new downtrend established because we have a new low and lower low and uh, the market is now just right here it's uh, it's moving back uh, just after uh, absorbing uh, the supply so these demand will, sorry so what I'm now waiting for is that uh, if the price uh, come back here I'll be looking uh, to short it uh, short it down here I'm not interested in, uh, yet into getting to longs because uh, still we have a daily downtrend and a weekly downtrend and this is consolidation so still it's not uh, enough convincing for me and uh, if we look uh, to the CLT data, I can see that uh, yes, the market makers they added some longs right now after a long time, and but they added even more shorts. So you can see that the not net positions are now in even in the negative, and they are like 50 50. So this is 
what I think is happening right now on the all pairs, we can see, yes, we can see that uh, they adding longs, but they adding even more shorts. Look, this is very aggressive. They added like 23k, 23k shorts and they added like 1k longs, you know, this, it's nothing. It's, uh, it's just some hedging, you know, or some, just some beginning of the hedging and uh, they moving it higher, but uh, Definitely it will it could come drops even lower. This is just question of the time. It's just question of the time till this uh, This one this uh, dollar index just question of the time it then it Till this make this correction uh, down here and it will continue up This is what I think now and uh, we will see Okay, let's continue with the pound. Pound is very similar as well uh, with these three, so we can see that uh, the market makers uh, added pretty aggressively uh, 20k of longs and they added as well 20k of shorts, which is now changing the game here a little bit because we go from the 33, 30 to 33 and from 70. 267 shorts which looks nice however the net positions even drop it lower so i don't think uh, the interest is now to change the trend up yes so if we look uh, to the charts we can still see weekly downtrend monthly downtrend uh, daily downtrend monthly in consolidation supply is in control and we are just above these demand so i think we still put drop lower into the hill and uh, till we till the market will not visit these levels i will not be interesting interested to taking any longs from here from nowhere you know just because some numbers you no know, or maybe just because uh, some pin bar no i want to trade on these levels where the banks trade so I will be waiting till it drops down here. It will not drop down here and market will reverse into these levels. I will be taking the shorts and I will be more than happy to short it to down here. Because uh, this is, I already learned many lessons and this is the levels which works. And this is the typical tricks what they doing. They start to maintain the support above the levels, you know, start drawing the pin bars and head and shoulders and whatever i don't know and then when uh, the people start to be interested into the longs then they drop the price uh, into the levels where they buy so they they actually take out all these uh, bulls they their stop losses they suck in the game the bears the breakout traders and then they totally reverse the market so they actually fuck up the both sides first they create the liquidity and then they go uh then they go where they need to move the price this is what is happening you know so for me still i still believe uh, this is uh, not the end already it uh, it doesn't take uh, so quickly and uh, i will wait uh, for a while to taking the long, longs because it's better not to be in the positions where you want to be than to be in the positions where you don't want to be so let's uh, move forward to the kiwi and we can see the kiwi is uh, monthly in the downtrend where is and there is not any supply uh, demand zone just the uh, right one the below here and uh, uh, weekly is downtrend as well and daily is downtrend as well and market is now uh, doing this uh, corrective move as on the other pairs thanks to the uh, dollar index which is now uh, doing this uh, correction and if, if we look uh, to the data we don't see nothing special the market makers added 1k longs and they added 4000 uh, k 4000 short so we still can see they are 73 percent uh, exposures for the longs against 27 shorts and the net positions rise to the 26k so this is for, for me still pretty obvious shorts so i'm not looking uh, 
uh, to the takeoffs, or maybe you know there is a lot of intraday traders who would take the trades uh, and the benefit, you know, these hundred pips uh, on this um, trade up. However, I wanna go with the trends, and um, I will wait uh, till this come back to my levels, and then I will be interested in to short it. USB cat. USB cat. We have a weekly uptrend, and on the monthly chart there is a little something pretty interesting because we have this. Uh, monthly downtrend line is broken however the price still cannot close like a whole candle above you know so it's still moving like this and this is the three month three month trend line it's in the uptrend and uh, this is the three month demand zone which is now in the control so the so the force is uh, to the up and uh, price uh, on the lower time frame on the daily is now in the downtrend so what i will wait uh, is for to the price start to shifting up if we look to the if we look to the cot report we can see that the market makers they start lowering their longs so you can see that they've been 73 64 55 then then wait a fact 58 now they uh, now they are uh, uh, 56 and their shorts it was like 20 so the shorts are a little bit rising so what do i see here is that they want to take the price lower definitely if they want to take it lower however as i said we still have the, this uptrend and we still have this uh, monthly trend line so first i want to see definitely at least at least uh this uh daily demands will be taken out which will create new supply zone and then if the market uh, reverses, then then i will be interested in taking a short however right now for this moment uh, you know we still can have uh, this uh, consolidation and uh, we can see because uh, look at uh, look at this data you know we have, uh, we have this dollar index strengthening so it's taking is doing the reversal on the all all banks. however this one is still maintaining uh, these sideways you know so this cat is pretty strong and uh, um, till this one is broken still can move higher uh, till the till this uh, till this correction on this uh, dollar index happens so for the moment I wait I'm not gonna taking the longs and I will wait with this short uh, not yet for me not yet okay let's have a look to the japanese yen japanese yen we have a monthly downtrend uh, this uh, trend line is still holding uh, the price uh, before this breaks it's it, this trend line was already tested one two three four times so it uh, seems to be strong on the weekly we have uh, as well this downtrend and the price have uh, failed to short to close above and we are now in this weekly supply zone uh, demand zone sorry uh, which is tested uh, so if it will be broken and the create new zone i will be interested in taking the short on the daily um i think this uh, this short-term trade could happen because we have already this downtrend, we have this broken and we have this uh, nice volume here in this thin bar which was filling in the supply zone so the supply zone is already tested and the force is down now however I, I had already the shorts uh, from here but uh, I closed them because uh, my feeling was that the price could go higher uh, it happened you know so whatever uh, I, will be, I will be waiting patiently for the, another opportunity and if we look uh, to the data we can see that uh, the longs were lowered by 1k and the shorts was added by 3k so the percentage is now for the first time dropping and the, the net positions uh, are dropping as well so this this could be this could be 
high potential short uh, opportunity in the future so i'm expecting uh, this uh, yen getting stronger next one is a uh, swiss franc swiss franc uh, is uh, is totally different than the other pairs look at this uh, so we have uh, we have this uh, three months uptrend monthly downtrend however the price broke up but it's still getting the pins from this uh, strong supply zone and as well it's on this weekly demo supply zone and the daily it's still consolidating like this to the side but if we look to the data this is something i have uh, i didn't see uh, for a while so let's uh, let's check this one look if we look to the data we can see that the banks are 91 percent on the long side against nine percent to the short side this is something this is something really i have never seen uh, this and what what that means that means that they've been pretty pretty a lot buying there the dollar and no one was uh, uh, buying the franc and as this is traded on the spot as a as a as a this is like a you know this is not like a cfds but they trade all these pairs they trade you know on the chicago merchantile that means that uh, the contract for this franc they holding massive massive amounts of the loans as you can see it was rising constantly rising and they've been buying more and more and more from the beginning of the year you know this if you look uh, so we can see it uh, clearly uh, on the chart so all this way all this way beginning of the year you know if, if i say we have data from the from the from the february but uh, of course in my history i have longer so from the february you can see it's february all this way up they've been buying massively massively all all this way and this is starting to be consolidation so what i expect now there's gonna there has to be there has to be there has to be some profit taking because if someone owns so much contracts uh, with the long side so much contracts on the longs against these shots they must take out the profit it's not uh, possible to buy they cannot buy everything you know that uh, who will own the some francs you know so they have all these contracts futures contracts for the francs and they must they must take the profit on it and if they take uh, take start to taking the profits of these positions that means that they will start to close the longs positions and this one will then drop hardly and it will come back as a tornado this is gonna be this is gonna be massive short massive short so uh, i'm expecting this to drop uh, on this week on this weekly chart all the way down and i will be slowly looking for the for the for the, for the building my positions again because uh, i know and uh, my friends uh, who trace with me in the signal group uh we've been holding the shorts we've been actually everything what is happening right now on these major spares i already knew it but the problem is uh, you know the psychology so i was actually tricked so i closed uh i was a little bit scared about this what's happening uh, on the dollar index i still thought it can go higher and it can go higher it will probably go higher because i don't believe that uh, they will start to they will start to just uh, closing the positions here they will move it up here and here they will close the profits you know so i will be start, i will be looking again uh, to add uh, to add uh, the short rates to add the short rates uh, uh for example like uh, you know the limits limit orders again you know like this and um uh, similar what's happened to me uh, on the Aussie, you know, because I was expecting that uh, this uh, must come up. But 
still they are not uh, in the level so i will be waiting uh, i will be waiting um, you know down here i will be waiting quietly and patiently like a sniper till they come into this level because they mostly take out first the they first take out these uh, supply and demand zones because they know the people see them and they know that uh, when they break these levels people start to short and i will show you something right now uh, here on this uh, on this uh, my epics book uh, on this community outlook look at this this is the euro and i put uh, this this is uh, this is you can put uh, this uh, alarm when the euro start to changing the percentage and uh, my alarm was uh, on the 25 percent yes and i tell you something euro there was a lot of people on the longs and this was like uh, maybe 90 percent people was on the longs and when uh, when this happened look they just taken out uh, these uh, these zones it was like uh, three days ago when this zone was taken out maybe the people started uh, they started to to short the position so they start to rise up and I was getting the arms that is getting above the 35% and 25% and market starting to reversing. So the market makers, when they convince everyone by breaking this one and going lower, they convince everyone that they are so bullish or so bearish and they start to suck the people into the levels. And then they start to reverse the market. So it's still something what have to happen uh, and and they take the best positions here it's still something what has to happen uh, on the Aussie they will probably take out this, uh, this zone first and they come uh, to fill up this demand zone here as well it must happen on the Frank I believe this zone this supply zone where they are filling these orders it will be tested once more before the proper proper drop happens and as is as this is in the confluence they will probably they will probably uh, remove uh, sorry it's not here they will probably remove these zones again as well so all of these zones they will they will they will meet, they will first meet uh, in together and then when it's gonna be ready uh, I think then we can see then we can see uh, some you know more long term reversal because right now we are getting to 77% and it's uh, it's you know get, it's getting into the extremes and this is when they start to uh, taking out the profits and uh, and yeah, so this is uh, to the majors and to the CFTC, and uh, let's have a look uh, to the other pairs. So uh, let's continue with the Aussie cat. Okay, so the Aussie cat, uh, we have a monthly downtrend, weekly downtrend, the daily downtrend, and I was expecting, and I actually took the trade here because, uh, as I said, all these we have a downtrends and market retraced to the supply zone and i'm expecting to the drop and uh, if i look uh, look at it a little bit closely so we can check uh, the four hours chart so we are already getting you know this drop this retracement and now i want to take one one take profit here and the second one on the low in the past i was uh, planning the trades you know from zone to the zone so i would like to, i was targeting something like this but i'm not gonna do this anymore because uh, it's uh, it's very for the it's very difficult for uh, the mental for the psychology for your psychology you know to holding the price because what mostly happen is i just find out that all of most of my trades uh, they make you know 200 pips and then they reverse so i'm just so what's probably gonna happen here is something like that the price will come here then some retracement then it will come here and then it will start to do you know the things 
and then I will close my trade view, which is bullshit, you know. So I will what I'm do, what I'm starting to do again, as I did before, you know, just two two targets, two short targets, and uh, nothing doing like this bullshit, you know, like uh, long term trades, you know, and these things. So this one, all the time frames are down. I'm looking for the shorts only. This is the Aussie franc. Aussie franc, we can see now that uh, Aussie is uh, stronger than franc, and we are getting this. Uh, sorry, we are getting this bounce. And uh, what I will be looking here for is that uh, is that when the when this price come to this supply zone where we have these two strong candles, where was as well the volume. So I will be looking for the short. So there is no trade for me now. Uh, as this demand zone on the weekly was tested two times and it's uh, the, the, the supply demand zones they work a little bit differently than uh, the supports and resistance so it was tested two times it's it's the downtrend and so i'll be looking to take a short in this one let's continue and uh, now we have uh aussie aussie kiwi Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar. So we have a weekly uptrend, monthly is a nice uptrend, and the daily is uh, uptrend as well. So I took the long, and I'm expecting to come in here. If this trade doesn't happen, and the market will re uh, retrace to this uh, weekly demand zone, I will take uh, another trade from this uh, demand zone. Sorry, accident changed this one. So. I have a long if it will retrace down here which is here on this chart i will take another one uh, let's look to the next one ah sorry this is the aussie yen so the aussie yen uh, we have uh, and here is happening this similar situation as i was talking about so look at this uh, weekly chart yes we have uh, we have nice downtrend because uh, we have obviously this low lower high lower low and then what start to happening is that uh, we can see this nice consolidation yes we have this consolidation where the price is going up and down up and down and uh, we have this a lot of pins on the bottoms and on the tops so the people when the market was moving higher here they were starting to getting into the longs maybe expecting it to, to go up and then they go down to clear it because this supply zone is in the control so the force is down you know and i think uh, we still can see this drop lower because uh, as i said we expect strong strong end um this what this is something what i was uh, drawing uh, uh, on the lower time frame because if we look uh, to the one hour chart uh, this is something really interesting look at this so uh, we had the, the market in this uh, you know consolidation moving sideways and what i was actually expecting is that we can see this bullish candle you know maybe some traders start to draw oh okay this is the building this uh, uptrend you know so what is then happening they get they getting into the longs this is what a lot of people is doing that when the market is moving the sideways they are starting to take the decisions but this is actually the bullshit you know because you never know where the market market makers move the price higher. so i actually draw this and i i said okay there has to be stop losses above this and as well below this and look what happened they went down they cleared out this uh, bull stop losses and they went up and they taken out this bear stop loss and now they're moving lower you know so the thing is that the market makers they are actually using the range on the maximum to trick the people you know with the drawing these uh, things and uh, start starting to making them thinking anything so don't take any decisions when the market is uh, in the range it's uh, never working and uh, it uh, it can work sometimes for you but uh, it can uh, it can trick you as well so for me this monthly that monthly is broken downtrend and the three months trend now three months trend is down weekly is uh, trend down as well it's broken this consolidation so on the daily chart um, 
I will be waiting uh, if the market uh, retraces up here. I will take a short, or maybe here can happen uh, the thing uh, as I said, uh, which is happening sometimes. Actually, not sometimes. Actually, pretty a lot that the market makers start to support the price above uh, above the level. So a lot of people maybe start to get into the longs here. They will get into the long, but the market makers they have the positive position here. So they then the, the, the drop price, the lower, they take out these stop losses, they get into the breakout breakout traders, which will have the stop losses here, and then they will go up, you know. So let's see with this one. In this in this situation, uh, the market is not in any of my levels, so I am not interested to do anything. I have learned many lessons uh, when I started to think uh, too much and uh, it doesn't work well. So this is the Euro Aussie, Euro Aussie, we have this uh, weekly, weekly we are in this uh, downtrend, however we have, it's broken up, but still I have this, uh, uh, sorry, monthly, monthly, but still I have this, uh, this three month trend line which is tested now and this three month supply zone which is in control and on the weekly I have broken down trend and supply zone is in control as well the holding below 20 EMA and here is the trade so I actually had the trade uh, one from here because I was expecting the uh, uh, price to drop from um, this supply zone however it, I closed that you know I just make the mistake so then the market uh, give me give me new chance uh, because I saw this break of this daily trend line which created uh, this new supply zone for the shorts when the market uh, come back I open a trade and as you can see one or two pips a uh, couple of pips risk and the price is dropping now nicely into my target so this trade I actually posted in my telegram channel as well and now uh, it shipped this daily trend down as well so there's nothing what should uh, be the problem uh, with this taking uh, this price lower this is the euro pound and uh, this chart is a little bit uh, doing nothing you know you can see how many weeks it's on the sideways however what happened now is that we can see the break of this trend line and we have a new demand zone created which was actually tested right away and the price is uh, uh, reacting from here i missed this trade it could be very nice trade because uh, look at this departure from here so when the price departs so quickly that means that uh, they forgot some orders here which needs to be filled and then it can comes back and uh, do the nice reaction so this is something that i'm actually looking for in my strategy you know some people they they see the consolidation and they betting uh, on the longs you know it can work however when the price retrace and then the second reaction then is a, then there is a power and the volume and as well the momentum so this is what i'm looking for however i'm not in this trade so right now I will be waiting uh, for the price get out uh, here or here for my next decisions. This is the Euro franc. Uh, Euro franc uh, is now in a nice, in a nice consolidation on the monthly chart. However, I have this monthly supply zone in the control, which is pushing price lower. Euro is weak. Franc is uh, getting stronger, and as well as I said, I'm expecting uh, the big power from the franc we have this nice weekly downtrend because we have a low 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 high low low and on the daily we have as well the downtrend and we have nice two potential zones for the trades so here is the four hours zone and here is the daily zone so if the market's price retrace all the way back I will be looking and very much interested taking in the shorts. However, for now, will I take will I take long up here? No, I will not because I'm one trend trader and I wanna trade uh, with the market trends. So I'm patient waiting. I'm going to add the alert here. Boom, and that's it. I have an alert. So when the price comes here, it will send me the message and I will see 
that something is happening on the euro chart still the price is here i'm not interested to interested in to do anything okay this is the euro cat uh, this one is uh, the pretty big motherfucker because uh, this price this uh, chart a little bit tricked me and actually tricked me i cannot say that it tricked me i have to say that uh, I made the mistakes, uh, uh, especially on my robot trading, uh, when I set the only long side and it's dropping as strongly against us. However, right now I'm expecting the euro, uh, the reverse uh, against the scat and uh, and uh, let's see. So what what is here? So we have this uh, monthly uptrend and uh, we have uh, this retest of this monthly zone which is the second retest and it means that uh, uh, this monthly demand zone is taking the control now which will be pushing the price higher as well it's meeting in this in this weekly demand zone but it's second test so that means that uh, the price it doesn't have to be so strong and uh, so we need to see first removal of this uh, of this uh, daily supplies till to the, till we get uh, in the lot so for now what will happen more possibly is uh, drop again uh, from this weekly zone let's see what's, uh, what we're gonna do with this one i'm not interested in to do any trade right now but i believe it will go higher this is the euro yen euro yen is uh, monthly is uh, still in this uptrend uh, when we have to this nice demand zone in the control and the price is you know it's of course it's dropping right now but till this till this uh till this trend line is not broken sorry this trend line is not broken still uptrend on the weekly we have obviously downtrend already and we have this demand zone which was tested once and on the on the daily we are in the downtrend because we have low lower high lower low and here is the perfect zone where we have as well the volume so if the price retrace all this way up i will be interested to short it all the way down and for the now what is happening uh, i can see that uh, it could go up but i will not be interested into taking the longs um, but but if we look at it on the four hours time frame we can see that we have this consolidation and we have all this uh, you can see so market was dropping then we have uh, you know the volume coming in so this is like a slowly stopping volume you know we have stopping volume and then here is the support established when the, when two candles close on the same price this is like a support established yes and we can see the volume here as well so they supported the price move the price higher then we have the spin bar with the volume so moving price lower again then the spin to clear out these stop losses and uh, with the volume as well moving higher as well another volume pin bar so you can see you know someone could call this like uh, you know these head and shoulders or whatever you know you know this and the neckline boom and the price go up yes it could happen and it will probably happen i believe that this price will go up but uh, i'm not anymore interested to trade these uh, counter trend trades you know i will be better waiting till the price come here and then i will take a short this can happen but it's a lower odds and i'm not interested in to do this i can find a lot of trades like this but uh, this is not uh, what i'm looking for anymore i used to do that i'm doing this uh, on my personal trading uh, which on my you know this when i scalp intradays and uh, on these tradings then i'm doing it and as well i'm doing it i must say that i'm doing it uh, very successfully because uh, i can show you my results uh, from this uh, from uh, this one you can see here so this is uh, this is my account uh, which i have where i provide this uh, this for the copy trading so this is my account and you can see 
uh, where I traded this intraday uh, scalping and these things. So I have like June, I had 189%, July 47%, August, I have already 13%. And this is pretty big account. You know, you can see that uh, uh, there is a there was a deposit of 10,000 and there is already profit 38,000. You know, so this is working but uh, this is not what i want to do this uh, you know webinars and this is not what i want to tell the people to do because this is what i'm doing and i have experiences for that and it's working for me this way so uh, this is the euro kiwi this chart is just sideways and what i think uh, we will see the drop now because uh, just the based on this because we saw this downtrend and then we see this monthly supply zone is taking the control so i will be looking probably if this trend line this daily trend line is broken and it will create me a uh, new supply zone then the retest i will be looking for the short even this is uh, the downtrend big uptrend because this uptrend is not any strong so this could drop lower, but it's not high odds straight. So uh, I will wait uh, for the confirmation. This is the pound Aussie. This is a beautiful trade, uh, uh, which we are in with, with my friends uh, on the signal group. So we have a monthly this uptrend. We have a weekly downtrend, but we are now in this uh, demand zone. However, I took the trade even into this demand zone because because uh, this demand zone is tested already twice and it's almost taken out and i believe it's gonna be taken out we can see that the aussie is strengthening now pound is still weak so this is happening and you can see you can see you know like on some other charts i said that uh, for example now we spoke about the euro yen you know so the price is dropping after the uh, price is moving back after the removing uh, the demand zone and yeah i said i could take uh, i could take the long however you know i don't know where to put the targets because uh, to the zone or maybe somewhere below the zone now what i better wait for for me it's better to wait uh, till the price uh, come back with the down with with both higher trends it come back so I just take the trade you know and uh, my risk is very low and the price is going my way because the trend is down trend is down this trend is okay this one is up however there is still room you know this this demand zone still must be tested to take the power so this is for me better because uh, if if i should be taking this trade up after this candle then i must put my stop loss you know maybe somewhere here and it's too obvious to have a stop losses just below there that uh, it just didn't happen to here that uh, this one uh, wasn't taken out but it's mostly happening that it could happen you know so yeah pound dozy shorts this is the pound cat uh, pound cats uh, still have a room to move into this uh, uh monthly demand zone which was already tested the once and i think it's gonna be tested maybe to once more so for me now i would not be interested taking the short here on the low only maybe if the price retraced into this uh, weekly weekly demand zone from here i would be interested to take the short so which which is here and i believe it's gonna it's gonna move higher and then then finish this move up you know something like this. so let's see with this one how it's gonna be played the next one is pound yen pound yen uh, so we have a monthly consolidation where where is this uh, monthly supply in the control so it's pushing price lower nicely with this free engulfing monthly candles however we have this three months demand zone here and the price uh, on the weekly is as well on the downtrend just right now removing this uh, supply zone and it's consolidating uh, here in this weekly demand so what i will be interested now is to 
if the price retraces into the weekly i'm going down not to do this uh, daily because this one is already tested here so it's not uh, working but the, this one you can see you can see the level it's 143 144 so around around these zones i would be interested to short till then i'm not interested in for the rich chart this is the pound franc uh, pound franc as i said and it's similar very similar again so we can see the downtrend broken uptrend up supply zone taking the control moving the price lower weekly on the downtrend creating new nice supply zone and the weekly daily we have a downtrend as well and the price is now sorry so the price is now here in the no man land so what is happening now you know here maybe shorts and uh, here the longs yes if the price come drop, drops here then i will be interested to take longs from here but first i will need to see the momentum shift so if the price drops here uh, we will have the trend line like this and i will want to see something like the break you know the zone retest and then move the higher till then i'm not interested to do, interested to do anything so i wait with this one this is the pound kiwi pound kiwi we have uh, this uh, monthly uptrend uh, and we have uh, this monthly demand zone in the control and we are heading into the mm, monthly supply zone however right now on the weekly we can see that we have broken oh, sorry for this so we have on this weekly the broken uh, this uptrend and the price is consolidating and the supply zone is in the control and it's moving lower daily this is rubbish you know nothing supply zone in the control so this can drop lower here so maybe if the price drop into this weekly demand zone and this daily i will be interested to take a longs because i still expect this to go higher so the longs from this weekly weekly demand zone if it holds because if it's gonna be taken out uh, it will change the trend down if it will hold it's still you know we have the uptrend and then we can even the trend line is broken it doesn't mean that the trend is changed you know trend is changed till when the trend line is broken and at least one supply or supply or demand zone is taken out then it, it, we can speak about the trend change till then the price can drop here we are still in the consolidation and then it could continue up you know so the trend line break is not everything so this one and the higher time frame we have a we have a trend we have a uh, supply zone created, we have a retest, demand zone created, sorry, we have a retest and it's in control now and it's moving in higher. So, higher probability that it will go more up than down. This is the Canadian dollar Swiss franc and what do we have here? So, we have a monthly downtrend line broken in consolidation. So demand zone now taking the control price is moving higher on the weekly we are in the uptrend and um, we are retesting uh, these these daily supply zone and i actually took the trade here and right now when i'm doing this analysis i'm seeing that it's actually the mistake because we are in the consolidation where the demand zone is in the control which is forced up the uh, force price is up we have a uh, uptrend here as well however here we didn't make the higher high higher high, higher high yet because uh, price got the lower tested this demand zone as well it's pushing higher so and here you can see that i actually took the trade based on this uh, on this uh, daily trend line break so i will must uh, recheck this trade and what i will probably do is that uh, i will set 
I will I will close this trade. I think this this one is wrong because uh, the higher time frames are pushing the price higher. So this one is not correct. The next one is a Cartier. So what do we have here? We have a monthly uptrend and uh, uptrend, but uh, the trend line is broken. So we are in the consolidation. Three month trend line is now in control because price removed from here. And on the weekly, we have a downtrend as well in the no man land. And I took the trade from this uh, from this supply zone, which create, was created by the breaking breaking this trend line. Mm -hmm. So so yes, uh, this could potentially move lower. However, it doesn't happen. And uh, as well, we have a weekly downtrend. Okay, but. Potentially, the price should first retest re re uh, re uh, the supply zone, and then the force will be lower. So, uh, when this supply zone will be retested, so it will be on this zone. So, the probably we could see the move higher, and then from here we will be, I will be retested. Okay, so this this is the trade another trade which I will consider. So this is very good that I'm actually doing this video because I realized uh, the mistakes which I did. Okay, so these two trades I have to consider to hold them or not. This is the New Zealand cat. Uh, so what do we have here? We have a monthly downtrend just right above uh, the just uh, right above this demand zone which wasn't tested yet. So it's the fresh one. And it's nested with the uh, with the weekly weekly zone as well, and it's nested as well with the daily zone. So this is something like a bonus, and this is the extra. So look, these zones. I will give you. I will give you this line here, and uh, I will do this. Look at this. So this line, and I will. I will sync it. It all do you see it so right now these zones this daily weekly and monthly fresh it wasn't tested yet on the same level so when these conditions occur we can take the trade from here because it's like a 90% probability that it will bounce from here because it's not tested yet and the zone is fresh and that means there's gonna be a lot, a lot of orders. So on this chart, I'm interested uh, for the one thing: if the price retraces up uh, up here to the daily supply zone, I will be interested to take a shot. If not, I will be interested to take this blind long because we have we have this monthly, weekly, daily zones nested in the one level so it's a high probability it will bounce here i don't know how high probably i will be putting my first target here on this daily supply zone so this one would be nice and this is as well the same situation is repeating look the market makers are moving price lower then they start to maintain the support above the price so they are starting to suck the people into the longs and then they drop the price lower and then they go up. Yes, so this is this is for this chart. The next one is uh, Swiss franc, Japanese yen. Uh, what do we have here? We have uh, this monthly consolidation and uh, we have uh, the supply zone, monthly supply zone in control. So it's pushing, uh, pushing the price lower. As well, we have uh, this weekly. We have this weekly broken trend line, and the price is uh, not moving from any zone. However, this monthly is still in control, and we have the weekly shift momentum, weekly daily shift momentum from this supply zone, which is now in the control. So I'm expecting this to drop lower. This is the New Zealand Swiss franc. So what's happening here? We have the monthly downtrend, weekly downtrend. However, right now we just uh, sorry. However, right now we just bounced from this uh, daily 
a weekly demand zone and the price as well the daily demand zone and price is moving higher however i'm more interested to take it short uh, because uh, still this uh, uh, monthly supply zone is in the control and this is the void to be filled so um, here could be the trade uh, to the up as well on, on many other charts uh, which i trade and i'm telling you what i am do doing and what i am interesting to do it doesn't have to be of course the only thing you can do because if we look uh, for the intraday so we can see again dropping and then the volume starting to come in you know here this first volume which is start, starting to stop the, stopping the train again you know the drop lower then what do we see as a uh, bam there she uh, bam the next one you know the volume on the lows so this is how it's actually possible to spot uh, that the trend is changing you know it must be on the level so which is it actually it's on the weekly level and on the daily level it, it is on the level so the next thing is what you do is that you actually you know you draw for example this wedge or something like that you know the people are people are drawing the wedge or some someone drawing the rectangles or whatever and uh, you can spot the volume you know on the lows here is the volume on the lows. then when, when it's switched and you can see the price is going up the volume is rising you know again so it is uh, and it will probably come come here but what is difficult on this one for me is okay so what i'm gonna do now i can i can wait till the price broke here and take take trade here so i have to put stop loss here or should i put the stop loss all the way down here i don't know i could do it and i used to do it however i found uh, this technique uh, with these zones and on the daily zones you know for me it's more relaxed for the swing trading and for the intraday trades yes for the intraday trades you see as but uh, intraday trades i never do these plans you know i go and with the charts and this live something uh, a little bit different and this is uh, what i might would uh, teach the people but uh, I will, as well a lot of people is asking me for the for the signals for this intraday signals but it's very difficult you know because i don't want to provide the signals with the buy now sell now you know now close the trade enter again because then otherwise what you're gonna do you will have to sit the whole day with the computer or on your phone and still buy sell close and these crazy things i can do that because i have time and i'm doing this and the trading is my only the war so i'm doing this however to provide the signals this way is uh, very difficult so what i can do i can offer you know this copy trading so if anyone is interested you can copy my account which is already 385 percent in the profit you know in the in the free months it's actually pretty huge and i have another, another another two signals three signals actually they all in the profits as well there, there i'm running with some robots as well uh, this one is not so good but um, i'm recovering right now so yeah so this is for the intradays and uh, this is actually everything the next one is the bitcoin i'm not watching this one i'm watching it just a little bit and here I'm planning uh, to do okay let's speak about this as well so this video is gonna be a little bit longer so what I'm planning to do and what I you know I'm not any cryptocurrency fan and anything but I of course realize there is a Bitcoin there is this blockchain technology and all of these things which are pretty interesting and they are future definitely so I'm not gonna buy the Bitcoin for the trading but what I will be interested in is i think uh this technology is future and uh, what i'm gonna do because i believe it will be still dropping now but i want to find you know maybe some levels maybe this i have to do with my analysis a little bit deeper but my plan is to buy maybe uh the bitcoin on some five four levels so maybe i will do uh, one thousand dollars and i will buy the bitcoin on some levels you know so i will average my price so if i buy here here and 
on couple levels you know maybe something here so i want to buy uh the bitcoin like a couple times a uh, couple couple pieces so my average entry will be for, let's say probably somewhere here you know and then i will be expecting uh, you know it, it could go up or or maybe it doesn't have to let's see but maybe i will buy this i don't know yet okay so and this is everything from me thank you guys for watching the video don't forget to subscribe please subscribe my video as well visit my uh, you should definitely visit my uh, my facebook page uh, where i have all these informations as well where i where i share everything uh, about the trading as well what i'm posting here there's a lot of uh, interesting uh, there's a lot of interesting um, interesting uh, uh, things you know about the trading and so yeah definitely join my facebook follow my youtube and uh, definitely join my channel and this is everything for me this video was a little bit long i hope it's not boring for you and uh, i wish you good luck and uh, whenever uh, you need anything related to trading uh, you can just ask me i'm happy to help if i can okay so